Have you gotten to the point, um, and maybe it's, we all have our journeys, but I find that um, there's gain in the pain and there's a blessing in the suffering. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe at some point, or maybe it's happened already, but, uh, or maybe this, this video is definitely going to be part of that is, you know, I think when we can share those painful moments and be vulnerable mm -hmm. and open and, and as you are, um, cause there's a lot of people that go through things and it always feels like, oh, this has only happened to me. Mm -hmm. Right. And so kind of like, uh, you know, that mm -hmm. book that you're reading, mm -hmm. she was able to kind of share her story. Do you have any plans or thoughts of writing a book perhaps now that you're a professional journaler and that is, would you share that story? That is funny that you've mentioned that mm -hmm. because yes, I have. Um, in fact, I talked to my therapist about it and, um, in the process of talking to my family members to see how they feel about it. Um, I guess I better ask Doug pretty quick before he sees this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> because it's not that I've done anything special, mm -hmm. but if I can help someone like Sandy helped me and like my friends helped me. I don't want to say his death would be worth it because it will never be worth it. Sure. But if I can get something out of his death to be able to share, how wonderful would that be? Because he would be a part of that too. Yeah. And it, it's a way of, of, you know, something beautiful about writing is that it's, um, eternal in many ways, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're writing something in the present moment about something that happened in the past mm -hmm. and it's going to be read by people in the future. And when they're in the future, they're reading what you wrote in the past. Mm -hmm. And so it's this, you know, that eternal infinity mm -hmm. sign. Um, but being able to share his, his story and his character and, uh, mm -hmm. and just the family dynamic with Doug and all that kind of stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. what a beautiful treasure out of something so mm -hmm. painful. Um, that that's, yeah. there's a lot of light and blessing in that. Yeah. CJ, I always knew that CJ was loved by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of friends, but I never knew to what extent until his service. And I see writing a book as him continuing to be there for people because I heard story, we heard story after story after story about he called to check in on me when I wasn't doing well. He was more excited when I had a baby than I was. I don't know where he found the time, but he stopped by. I mean, there was story after story after story about how he made people feel and how much he helped people when they were going through tough times. So if I could keep him going and doing the same th thing through his story, I just think that would be a beautiful thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. A, a treasure to pass on. For sure. And um, so I'm looking forward to reading your book. No pressure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>